Wow. We got through uh, 10 turns of this scenario, and I thought I wasn't doing so good, but I had a look at the setup instructions. I, I noticed here that uh, there were four of each type of vehicle, and I thought, oh gee, yeah, there couldn't be very many losses. I didn't really pay attention here, but there were uh, a loss here, a loss here, and a loss here. So, and also uh, an H, uh, a half track, and uh, a squat. So, when I went and looked at my losses for the Germans, we only let's see. Have a look here. We lost one of the little scout car deals. Uh, two, uh, two scout cars, scout cars, and uh, Panzer four. Oh no no, that's the wrong guy. Here it is, Panzer yeah, Panzer four E. So we lost two Panzer four E's. Ouch. And three scout cars and a three G. So. That compares relatively favorably. I think we're only one loss extra. Yeah, five, five, three, three, and four. And these guys lost. So they lost one there, one there. Sorry, two, four. Yeah, they lost five, six vehicles, and we lost uh, one, two, three, four, five, six vehicles as well, but they lost a half track. I lost six tanks. Now, you may say, well, well done, Kevin, you made, achieved some of the objectives. Well, the problem is, <laughs> I didn't get off the board. I started to do the, I did the movement for uh, turn 11, and then counted off the hexes to see if I could actually make it, to see if it was worthwhile continuing to play. And I miss out on the exit by one hex for, for all of these guys. And clearly here, we would be held up for another turn, uh, at least, but we're much closer to to the edge here. Uh, if I count units with lost tracks, there's two. And I did have three, but I made a mistake earlier on, and we uh, allowed the Soviets to fire when they shouldn't have, so we, we took back a track hit. Uh, so then you start looking at that and you go, well, that's really not a good uh, scenario for you, Kev. What I think I will do is play this second scenario, which is uh, a pretty interesting, interesting one. There's, uh, I'll show you the, the table of organization for the units that are going to participate. And you'll see it's pretty infantry heavy. It's because it's a big city uh, situation. There's a small handful of tanks here and then lots more anti-tank weapons. So I think what we'll do is set that up and we'll use all of these forces that are here. Uh, it equates roughly to the forces that are in the typical scenario. We're minus a tank with an extra squad. I think it, we'll call it bygones and uh, progress onto the play and kind of go for it from there and see what it's like. All right, I'm gonna pause this off here and we'll find some maps and get squared away.